Hi everyone, welcome back to another Omicron variant update. Now this one will be a little bit different instead of a more clinically focused update. I like to try to explain in a layman term the reason for Omicron's mutation to be so different from other variants. A preprint paper just came out at the beginning of December. This paper analyzed the genome and mutations in the Omicron variant and found a unique mutation in the spike protein that has never been seen in other SARS-CoV-2 variants. This mutation is called INS214EPE. It is an addition of three amino acids, glutamate, proline, and glutamate in the 214 position of the spike protein. So why are these three amino acids insertion so important? That is because they are also found on spike protein of another human coronavirus, the HCOV229E. Human coronavirus 229E can be found worldwide and have a seasonal pattern. It usually causes the common cold in healthy individuals, but can also cause pneumonia when it is co-infecting people with another respiratory pathogen. So how did the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus pick up a piece of gene from 229E? The authors of the study proposed that an individual may have co-infected with both coronaviruses simultaneously. Now, Some human cells carry the ACE2 receptor, a receptor for the SARS-CoV-2 virus, so that they can gain entry. And at the same time, they can also have a different receptor called the alanine aminopeptidase receptor for the 229E coronavirus to gain entry as well. When a cell had two viruses at the same time, the SARS-CoV-2 virus might have accidentally picked up a small piece of RNA from the 229E. Now, in a layman way of explaining, the coronavirus being a type of RNA virus need to go through several steps of RNA synthesis, from positive genomic RNA to negative RNA and then back to positive messenger RNA and that led to the translation of the viral protein. And part of the 229E negative RNA actually look exactly like part of the positive genomic RNA of the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, which may be why the CoV-2 had picked up by accident and later turned it into part of its spike protein. Now, so far, most Omicron cases are mild, and it is quite encouraging at this point. The new piece of gene in Omicron could offer a probable genetic explanation to what we see clinically. However, we will certainly need more research to confirm that. That's all for this quick update. Now, I'm planning to do a more thorough summary on transmission, breakthrough, and severity in my next Omicron update. So I'll see you in my next one. Stay tuned and stay safe. Take care. Bye.